It's good to be here. Wow. I'm from France. Uh, yeah, I can feel the excitement. I uh, just moved to the US. Perfect timing. Every time I say I'm from France to Americans, they come up with random and weird comments. I don't know why. Oh, you're from France. Actually, last year, my cousin went to Italy. <laughs> and I'm a nice man. I'm like, oh, what a coincidence. <laughs> I was born in Morocco. I have a Moroccan passport. I have another passport, but I have a Moroccan passport. I don't use it for obvious reasons these days. <laughs> it's not a good idea to show up at the U.S. Customs and, and, and show them a big green document that has gold Arabic letters on it and tell them, I'm a comedian. <laughs> so I have another passport. The problem is they put my place of birth. Last time I showed up at the U.S. Customs, a guy said, born in Morocco. I said, yes. He said, why? <laughs> then he asked me, what's the purpose of your trip, sir, to the United States of America? I said, I'm here to live the American dream. I was traveling first class recently. Um, I'm a nouveau riche. So I have to say it when I travel first class. Real old money people, they don't mention it, but I'm a nouveau riche. You know what a nouveau riche is? It's someone who can afford first class, but still asks for as many free peanuts as possible. <laughs> so I was flying first class, dressed very casual, right? Sneakers, baseball hat, even though I don't understand anything. Baseball and... There was this businessman, very serious guy, looking at me, staring at me, judging me. Maybe I'm paranoid, but I don't know. Maybe it's just the immigrant syndrome and the Novorish thing, but I said, I don't like the way he's staring at me. I'm gonna mess with this guy, and he's gonna remember me for the rest of his life. I'm buying first class, I have the money, I'm a self-made man. I'm <laughs> all in my head, I have, I can, and I made it with the American dream. I got crazy, just me. <laughs> so what I did, I started to mess with him and I started to act up as if I ever never seen first class in my life being amazed like oh, oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. looking at him like oh, it's a good one. Yeah, yeah. and then I pointed to my seat that I paid I said do you think this one is taken I can just sit here it's good yeah, yeah. He said, I don't think so if not flying first class you cannot sit there I'm so sorry I said Shh, don't tell them what's wrong with it I sat there and I started to play with the buttons just randomly. He freaked out. He called the flight attendant. He said, I think this guy's not flying first class. She came up to me. She said, I'm so sorry, sir. I need to see your boarding pass. I showed her. She said, no, you're flying first class. I'm so sorry, Mr. All Set. I said, okay. <laughs> Thank you. I went back to the guy and I told him, sir, it's all good. I gave her 20 bucks. <laughs> Thank you guys, you've been great. Merci beaucoup. Howie Mandel here saying thanks for watching and please click on subscribe, share, enjoy. Do it now, I'm waiting.